Now that you have completed the assembly of your table, including installing the sewing machine head and mounting the control module underneath, it's time to connect the two. First, some notes about the connectors. Connections are either color-coded, numbered, or shaped to match. Color coding means if it has a black tip, you'll be looking for a black connector on the module board. If it has a white end, it may have a number on it, and you'll be looking for the corresponding number on the control board. Color code may also just be a red stripe. You'll be matching the two red stripes. That also tells you the direction that the plugs connect into. Not all connections are directly to the board. A few of our connections are cable to cable. You will start by removing the cover. This is four screws in the outer four corners of the cover and set the cover aside. It is recommended that you bring each cable into the bracket individually. You may start with any cable you'd like. We started with the cluster cable. This has more connections on it, and some of them are rather short, so it makes it easier to work with when you have less cables already in your way. You will see me make an adjustment to the cables at the end of this video because I need those cables flowing smoothly and flatly into the cover so that it fits cleanly onto its mounting brackets so that there are no gaps. There is plenty of room inside the cover for the cables to rest.
Now that you've finished making all the connections and your cover is reinstalled, it's now time to add the oil, plug the machine in, and enjoy your new Juki J150.